The owner of uh, Bluefin Sushi in Gross Point is firing back today at claims of racism inside the restaurant, and they're doing it with this video here. The security camera video shows the three African-American women who say they were kicked out of the restaurant for no good reason. So let's get to Dramat Terry live in front of the restaurant where a protest is hap happening right now, Dramat. You've been racist. Yeah, Kimberly, that protest started about 10 minutes ago. You can see over my shoulder here that about a half dozen or maybe. The surveillance video shows the three women who claim they were discriminated against sitting at the bar. Blue Finn and the women agree they were there for more than two hours. These three were clearly done with their meal. But the dispute comes as to whether they were still ordering drinks or simply taking up space. As a general manager of an establishment, you can easily find out who's cashed out and who hasn't. The women argue the manager picked them out all the other customers to move to another section because they are black. But Bluefin believes the video shows there were other black people inside the packed restaurant last Saturday night. The women posted on Facebook about the discrimination they say they've received. They claim the manager also assaulted them when she tried to escort them out of the restaurant. But Bluefin insisting the video never shows an assault and chops at the credibility of the women's claim. Again, I, I look at credibility. I said I, I only had one drink. Hmm, that's a lie. I said there were no other black faces in the restaurant. There were eight others. I've watched the video from A to Z. They are three more. So there were 11 of the 60 potential customers that were black. Oh, come on, sir. Get on. I'm back live out here at South the restaurant. You can see that again about two dozen supporters of those women are demonstrating outside. We should point out that the restaurant clearly states on their menu that they reserve the right to ask a party to leave after an hour and a half after they're done eating. But the women feel it's, it's really about how the managers handled the situation here Saturday night. But again, they're just asking for an apology and they're also continuing to demonstrate claiming that racism claims happened here Saturday night. Nothing more. Of course, the owners and the attorneys. Uh, Attorneys for the owners are saying that was far from the case. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. All right, Jermont, thanks.